three hits, so quack one, quack one, dash cancel, two hits, quack one string, including the teleport, two hits, quack two, a few hits, into the tilt quack one, and it does about 1,200, it can do actually 1,400, just depending on how many hits of different things you get, next, I love not connecting. <laughs> And then if I cancel that a bit earlier, it's going to do about 10,400 damage. And so it's still work one. And just like in One's Justice 1, he can actually combo off of his plus ultra one. So you can do another three hits into this string again. And then you've gotten an easy, like almost 13,000 damage. It could have been 13,000 if I did a few more hits of the quirk too. You can actually extend it a bit more if you jump. You do his air combo. And it'll all be meterless. Okay, it, a lot of things happen there, but it, that will do about 14,000. We can go into his combos, which is where Stain is really, really fun. Okay, so his bread and butter combo that I usually like to do online is three hits to his tilt quirk one. Oops, that didn't connect. Three hits, tilt quirk one, quirk one, dash cancel, two hits, quirk one string, including the teleport, two hits, quirk two, a few hits into the tilt quirk one, and it does about 1,200. It can do actually 1,400, just depending on how many hits of different things you get. So I'll show it again. Three hits into quirk one. I mean, tilt quirk one. And then into these. You just don't want to do too many hits of the quirk two, or else it'll it'll meet your blow early, and you won't get the combo. But yeah, that's a basic combo that you can do. You can sub out the um the tilt quirk one for his quirk two if you want on the ground to change it up. It's a bit of a much muchness. It's practically the same. But yeah, make sure you cancel into the quirk one because that's how you're gonna get good damage to end the combo. Um, he can extend his combos on the ground if you have if you've managed to hit him and the knife is on your opponent from the quirk one string. So then you can do three hits into oh I waited too long. But essentially you can do three hits and then do three hit into the quirk one and then three hits again. And that's how you can extend some combos on the ground just to get a little bit extra damage. So if I do one, two, three, one, two, three. Yay, that didn't connect. I love not connecting. <laughs> and then if I cancel that a bit earlier, it's going to do about 10,400 damage, which is really good for a single dash cancel. It definitely has above average damage if you are able to hit all of his combos consistently. Which can be a bit tricky sometimes, you saw I messed it up a few times. But if you get the timing, I say the hardest part is sometimes I don't connect the three hits into the this. So you just have to make sure you cancel it really quickly. It's like even there, I thought I was doing it quick. You have to make sure you do it quick into the tilt part one. And then the rest is pretty easy. Smash the quirk one button here until you see him teleport. Even if it messes up, the opponent doesn't have any time to recover. So you're practically guaranteed to get that part of it. Okay, obviously you can do it all off of his red attack as well. And so yeah, he's pretty above average damage. If you want to spend no meter, he's going to get decent damage, like 6,300. Or if you want to start your combo in the air, he can get some pretty decent meterless damage. This portion... Um, you can actually go into his... this. And then go for a little bit of a reset there. That's going to do about 900, I mean 9,000 damage. Even though it didn't all connect because I'm in training mode. But if you want to have it all connect, I'll show you what that could look like. So you can get pretty decent damage in the air for no dash cancels. Okay. Now for his plus ultra one combos, I think is where I'm getting to now. So the most damage that you can do on the ground, and you need to be on the ground to get into his plus ultra, is by doing his three hits into mash his quote two into 
Oh. <laughs> so block one. And just like in One's Justice 1, he can actually combo off of his plus ultra one. So you can do another three hits, into this string again, and then you've gotten an easy, like, almost 13,000 damage. It could have been 13,000 if I did a few more hits of the work too. But still, that's really good damage for a single plus ultra. You can actually extend it a bit more if you jump. Do his air combo. And it'll all be meterless. Oops. Okay, it, a lot of things happen there, but it, that will do about 14,000. Oh, yeah. Which is really good for a, a plus ultra combo and no dash cancels. And obviously, you can do it twice if you feel like being really extra and just really <laughs> doing some weird flashy combos. Oh, no, 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 that's a meeting though. Okay. So you have to be careful of his Meteor Blow. Stayin has problems with Meteor Blow, so you need to make sure you're always wary of what you put in your combo. And I didn't have a possible. Basically, you can do it a few times, but it actually ends up doing less damage than if you just did his plus ultra 2. So, a lot of the time I just go into the plus ultra 2, and that's easier, and <laughs> you don't mess it up as often like I do when I'm recording. So I'll just show that you can have it multiple times in a combo, and you can combo... I mean, you can even do it three times if you want. Oh my god. I'm not even gonna try again. But it gets less damage, so I suggest you just go into three hits. Not bad. Into his plus ultra 2. This is gonna do a big chunk of damage, and obviously it's unbreakable. Like when you're in the animation, because you can't bring out some blocks. And you're actually gonna be able to do this a lot with Stain, especially if you're making sure not to just do crazy dash cancels. A lot of the time you can do no dash cancel, like if you hit them when you're in the air or something. Or at maximum you'll be only doing one dash cancel. Don't do any thing past one dash cancel, like you can do some weird stuff like in the air with like four dash cancels, like well everyone can do that. But then you're not gonna be able to do your plus ultra two and plus ultra one combos and stuff. So yeah, make sure you're limiting yourself to one dash cancel. So you almost you have a combo extender with your um like one string as well. So make sure you're just doing damage that way. He gets really good damage like if you make sure you're doing his combos right. And you can even do really good meter list stuff. And depending on what you hit. And yeah, he has really good setups and movement with the knives. And like, so he can, like if your opponent's trying to stone you out and they don't really know how his knives work, and they don't realize that the knives on on them or on the wall, and then you zoom in like when they do a projectile, and you're invincible for that whole like zoom animation by the way. So if they throw a projectile, you dash in with the quirk one zoom thingy, and then you can punish them for their projectile and get a full combo. No idea what's happening here. Yeah, make sure with Stain. Um, I wasn't doing it too much in this video because I want to show you his combos. But if you're ever doing a combo and I've gone like, oh, you know, I've done my dash cancel and gone into this, just if you're facing a wall, just leave it. Like if you've done your two attacks, just just end it there so that you don't have that the awkward like going into the wall and then messing up your combos and then you're like side falling on the wall together and it can be really weird. So yeah, just make sure you end it early so that you can get a proper combo using your wall spot. So he gets really good combos off of that, because then you actually get another chance to do your uh, quirk 1 extensions in the end. Usually you're only allowed to do that once. You see if I try to do it twice, it doesn't, that way. it doesn't come out. But I get to do two of them if I get a wall spot, so yeah. Anyways, I think that is about all I have to say about Stain's combos. He is real- oh, um, I'll quickly get into his some of his pressure and stuff. So I go into guarding. Obvious, um, there's a gap in between the second hit and the third hit. So after the first two hits, there's a gap in between the second and the third, and there's also a gap in between the third and the fourth. 
So it's a bit full of gaps for the opponent to sidestep. That's why you're going to be using this move a lot. So if you think there are really sidestep opponents so that's just like mashing the sidestep button while you attack, then just go in with this and then you will have gotten a full combo going into all your crazy stuff. Um, if your opponent is just blocking and you don't want to take the risk of going in for this because it can be a bit unsafe, even though you can dash cancel to try and make it safer, there is still a gap that they can punish you in. If you want to just play it safe on block, you can do a few hits into this quirk 1. This is quirk 1. String is safe, unusually, especially if you do like, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. like 3 hits into the armor move, into the quirk 2, into quirk 1, then you are absolutely safe, and you've done a lot of pressure and guard. Destruction. <laughs> what am I saying? But yeah, yeah, he has pretty decent guard pressure. And yeah, just a side note: these projectiles are actually really good um, on guard. They do a lot of. They take a lot of the guard meter. It's like a quarter each time, so if they do a sidestep side or like trying to run away and you do these, you can actually get some really good easy combos that way. And also a side note, if you're doing um trying to get in on a zona, it's really good to do the air projectile, because one, you're using a projectile that does a lot of guard um like guard breaking But he also throws the second one in the air. As you can see he threw it he didn't throw it at Bakugo, he threw it up and over him. See it's behind him now. So you can either use that and just throw it out and then oh, rude. So now it's behind him and I can teleport behind him and catch him off guard if he throws a projectile. But I can also just use it to instantly like teleport to him. Because on block you can't actually do the teleport because the knife doesn't land. But if I'm in the air, it doesn't actually throw them at them, so you can always do the teleport and do some really, like, scary stuff that can spook your opponent. <laughs> Especially if they haven't fought against my stage, which they probably wouldn't, because no one seems to be playing stain. So yeah, you can go in for really good guard pressure that way. But anyways guys, that is basically my entire stain breakdown. He is the fun combos like with the air extension. I really like that he can do two hits into the quirk one string. It just real feels really fun doing like knives. It feels very Naruto like teleporting like into your opponent after throwing a kunai at them. And yeah, he's just really fun. He's definitely not low tier like a lot of people think he is. He has good damage, he has good combos, good guard pressure. His red attack is pretty decent. Um, yeah, above average damage. He has really good movement and like interesting counter zoning with his kunai knives. That's actually probably one of my favorite things about him is these projectiles. They're, they're good in so many ways. You can extend combos with them, you can get in with them, you can just zone with them if you want and then keep him safe. They're just really great. So anyways guys, that's my breakdown on Stain. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!